Hey what's up guys, it's Dom from Whole Printing Inc. In today's video, I'm teaching you guys how to fix dull DTF prints. Uh, basically what's happening is the white ink from the DTF print isn't uh, very vibrant. As you guys can see right now, um, it looks dull and I'll show you guys how to fix this problem right now. So, um, we did the maintenance, uh, we uh, cleared the ink, we did the head cleaning, so everything maintenance is done. But I'll show you guys how to go from this print and we'll run another one right after, after we've done every single part of the maintenance and you guys will see the complete difference in a few seconds. Okay guys, so the first thing we want to do, we're going to let this dull print finish out, okay? And once this dull print is finished, um, we're going to show you guys how to actually uh, fix this. So the first thing we want to do, go here on white, make sure you are at 200% if you're using this Acro Rip software. So just make sure you're on 200% white ink and on top you're at 100% white under any color pixel and you can also copy my color settings if you like. I also have an in-depth video right here you guys can click. From there if your settings are perfect we'll go over here, file and then we'll do a head cleaning okay guys. So I just want you to run this head cleaning. And as you guys hear it, it's uh, washing through right now, but this is just the normal head cleaning once it's done. I want to do another one and we'll see how it is from there. So guys, it, it is normal. The head cleaning will take a bit of time. I'm thinking about five to 10 minutes. So give it time to do its head cleaning. It's going to do this for a while and you're waiting. If it's not already done, you can take a sheet and just line it up and put it into your machine. Alright guys, so our previous sheet is closing up. Now I just want to show you guys the difference. As you can see, the white backing is almost, well it's basically non-apparent. As you guys can see, there's basically no white backing. You can clearly see the logo. Um, you can't see through it, which is good. Like this is printable, don't get me uh, wrong guys. It is printable, but um, like you can... Uh, you can get like more vibrant vibrant prints than this, but like I said, this is printable. It will stick to the garment, but uh, it's going to be a bit duller than your usual um, DTF print fresh off the maintenance. And guys, don't get it twisted too. Your maintenance may be done properly, but as you guys will see in this video, we'll break down a lot of steps. And the first step being just a simple head cleaning. So guys, next step. You just done the head cleaning, F12. After you've done the head cleaning, okay, I want you guys to head over here, open up your white ink, because that's probably the one you're having problems with, most likely. Open it up and do your regular uh, syringe maintenance. So guys, if you haven't seen the video on how to do your maintenance, I'll have a link right here, but I'll just do it really quickly with you guys and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll just leave this here. You guys won't have the best angle because I am filming this alone, unfortunately, but um, it's better than nothing. So just pull about five, um, five, I'm not sure, it's not ounces, but just pull until you get to the five right here. I think it's milliliters. I don't want to misquote it though. So pull until five, I, I usually go just a bit more and then you can reinsert the injector as so. You take the ink inside here and you insert it back here. Now we'll pull the other one as so. And yep, there we go guys. We'll pull it like this. Same thing as the other one, insert it back and we take the ink inside the syringe and we put it back right here. Again, guys, thank you so much for your patience. I will be getting a full on team to film these videos very soon. We are in the transition of expanding. So thank you for your patience. Now, once you're done with that, this is completely done. Um, you can close actually the white ink. And if you want, this is optional, but it's already been shook, but you can shook it, shake it again after you shake it. You can close, close this, and the next step you can use this since it's already dirty. And this is the last step. I'm just going to be cleaning it off. Now, I don't know if you guys have this, but we'll just be taking this off, guys, as so. And we'll be putting our syringe inside of this right here, okay? 
Now this is a bit tricky at the beginning, so don't get too frustrated if you can't get it all the way. But once it's inside, guys, you just want to pull slowly, very, very, very slowly. There we go. It's normal that there's a bit of resistance at the beginning. Let it fill up. What I'm doing guys, I'm just slowly letting the ink fill up. I'm applying steady pressure pulling towards me. I'm pulling the syringe towards me. And the reason I'm saying this vocally guys is because you can't see it. Again, I will get better angles as we expand, but I'm just pulling the syringe, uh, the white part of the syringe towards me very, very slowly, consistently. And it's just taking a bit of ink with it. You don't need to take out a lot as um, mentioned for the other uh, injectors. It's around uh, five millimeters that you, uh, f yeah, five millimeters. Uh, milliliters my bad that you need to be uh, pulling out after it's pulled out it will look something like this and you can take this excess and guys it's not like full 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 it's just about there's like this much ink in it so really not a lot of ink but you need to take it out and <laughs> i'm trying to find a, a way i can uh, empty this all right perfect guys so you can put this in the wash if ever you guys want a quick video on how to wash the syringes, I can make one, but it's pretty straightforward. Just wash them and make sure there's no more, there's no more ink or a water when you're letting them dry. Now you can reinsert this as so, like this. Oh, it's actually right here this and I personally like to leave it tilted so it follows gravity so the pump doesn't have to force too much I don't know if it makes a difference but I personally like to leave it like this so the pump just like goes with the gravity you know it's not forcing against it it just follows gravity anyways so I'll repeat guys head cleaning first step after this pull your white ink pull this and if you guys want, you can do one last head cleaning. But I'll go ahead and just print one right now and see how it turns out. So like this, color one, let's go. Let's see how this turns out. Ba -dum, ba -dum, boom! Yep, there we go. There we go. Night and day different. Sorry for the, like the PTSD guys. I just really want to like show my appreciation and like, you know, I really wanted to like uh, show you guys my excitement on this one because as you guys can see, this is a night and day difference, okay? There we go. As you guys can see, night and day difference. Now we will take the liberty to insert this into the oven with the powder, and I'll show you guys the last uh, comparison. There we have it, guys. Night and day difference. As you can see, this is the dull print, and as you guys can see, this is the new and improved one. Pretty much how to fix a dull print. If you guys didn't get the satisfied result, you can also just redo everything I showed you guys and it will become more vibrant. So yeah guys, night and day different. How to fix dull DTF prints. If you found this video somewhat helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. This was Dom from Home Printing Inc. Make a print, you'll never forget.